Hi, give me a minute. Well, obviously, I'm gonna play the first season. Yo, what's up, Jonathan? I'm going to do standard mode. My mic is quiet. Oh, yeah, I didn't have it close to. I didn't have it down. Don't get scared. It's just animated. It's not even that scary. I'm aware it was sarcasm. I I have I haven't played this game, but I have seen Jack Set the guy play it. He's done through like all four seasons. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Hold on, let me turn on subtitles. That's not what I want. No, go back. Oh my. There we go. Vertical button. Graphic. No, stop. Graphic black? 
I don't know what that does, but okay. Let me just make sure that I have... No, I didn't hit a fly. Alright. Back in. You know what they say about reckoning? I don't. But I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. Why are we boys that? No, you got an opinion? You put Mac on? You got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you killed. What if I didn't kill him now? Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. Huh. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You my wanna wife know how dead. I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Ah, yeah, divorce is always the issue. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, zombie breakout in the city you'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control I'm driving this man once he he was the worst one he wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it he was an older fella big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses and he just wailing back there says it wasn't him crying and snotting all over Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. <laughs> so did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Every time. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious oh, if I do say so. This Get other time... <laughs> Ah, that was a lot of loud noises. Ah, that hurt. <laughs> well, what? No, he's not dead. Well, maybe he is. I don't know. It's been a while. The driver probably dead. Oh shit! Thirsty. Ah! 
fuck? My leg. It's fine. You're not dead. Well, he is, but <laughs> not me. How the hell did he have his gun out? Can, can I grab the gun? Can I open the door? What if I just don't find a way out of the car? Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Nope, he dead. Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Oh. Damn it. Yeah, break the window. Uh, nope, do it again. Uh, there we go. Uh, you can get harder than that. There we go. Now, get out. <laughs> run, run. <laughs> There's no way for me to get off, get that weird, that, like, the little button off the screen. Okay, grab the shotgun. Grab the shotgun, yes. Grab that. You want that. Well, actually, it's probably no use with handcuffs. Looks empty. Oh, well, there's a conveniently poised we'll boy on the ground. These cuffs off. Oh, look at that. There's a boy right here. Now we take the shotgun. Looks yeah, it's my cursor. Oh my! Just put the fucking boy with these cuffs off. Oh. Yeah, you right. All right, let me see if I can take it off. Setting. Gameplay. Show electrical button. Do I want that on? Nope, that ain't do anything. I want to like make it smaller. You dumbass, you dropped the keys. He's not a zombie yet. Yeah, the key didn't even go in! Officer? Good then I can pick up that bullet. Get away from me! Do you not know how to load a shotgun, you stupid. Where are you? Don't make me do this! <laughs> you dead. <laughs> well, that's kinda that's kinda brutal. Yeah. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting!
Ah, that is loud. Jeez. <clears throat> Don't worry, they can't climb the fence. Ah, you just got a little limp. You're fine. Hello? Anybody? Of course there's nobody. I go swimming? Oh. Anybody up there? Why would there be somebody in the treehouse? Yes, my best bet is going there. Help! Hello? Anybody home? Just break Need the window. Yeah, just open it. Coming in. The hell was open. Shit, okay? An intruder or one of them. These people may need more help than I do. I don't. Well, I guess I can look at the coloring book. Ah, it's a unicorn! Very pretty. Oh. oh Jesus. Do a knife? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. Is there in there? Knife? No, no knife. What? The fo oh, walkie talkie. Alright, this one. Knife? Where, where are all the knives? Be careful. Ah, right, yes, just drink the water that's on the sink. <sighs> Do they not have any knives? What's that beeping? It's the walkie talkie. I believe. I don't know how to open this it. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Oh, uh, you know what's about to happen? Yeah, I, I'm. I, 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 is there a way for me to open it? No, that's there not are it. Three new messages. Oh, it's the phone! Well, I don't care. I need a knife. I need a plate or something. How did they not have any knives? Did they keep it up here? That's not knife. What kitchen does not have a knife? What is that? Paper towels? Oh, it's, maybe I can just drink the bleach. Oh, ransack. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shut the fuck up, you stupid phone. Hmm. Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. So, the baby became a zombie and killed the babysitter. Yes? There are three new messages. I don't like how it's that dark over there. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sam. 
Kendra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the oh. spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. 11.19? Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Well, we're not safe, we're dead, Message but Clementine three. somehow got away. 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. There's no we phone buttons you. on there. We love you. How, how are you supposed to call 911 if there's no buttons on there? Daddy? Huh? Yes, this is Big Papa. Hello? I hear you out, Queen. You need to be quiet. Uh, hide in the kitchen. Um, Hello? I'm not gonna say anything. Did they get you? Uh, oh, sorry. shit. <laughs> I'm here. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Your parents have probably eaten. We never checked the upstairs. What's your name? My name is Clementine. I'm Clementine. This it. is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How uh, old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. <laughs> Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are, are you safe? safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. Oh, I can't there is somebody in there! That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> Wait, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> How many times has this guy got a crit? Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> Got the hammer. <laughs> Just for one safe exit. I think it's dead. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Yes. Something else did. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Exactly. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. Your parents are dead. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. 
my parents might come home. We won't go far. Oh no, I should we'll probably try to find move. Shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. But we can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. I should have probably chose to move now. Whoops. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Oh, night is okay. better. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. I want a weapon. Congratulations, now all the zombies in the neighborhood know, neighborhood know where you are. Can I hop? I found the bastard! Oh! Are we going to die? I don't know, I'm sorry. I... I... Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that! We're friendly! There's a little girl here! Oh shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Oh damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. You should have shot I'm anyway. Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the next. Dad, look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your life. Face was weird. I'm not a dad. I'm. A neighbor. A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Oh shit! It's Chad. That's pretty weird. Let's go! Get to my car! Go! Should have shot him. That zombie is gonna bite me in the ass later. Say hi to your dad for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. His face looks really weird. Take care of you two. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No, you're kidding. Those nope. things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. There's army. I'm sorry, Sean. Hi, one second.
you've brought a couple guests. We, uh, need a place to stay. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Yes, Dad. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Zombie bite. It's not too bad. Tough guy, huh? What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Oh, Herschel! Hey! I How'd you this happen? The original. I, I fell, trying to get away from one of those things. And so, what type of danger has the girl seen? Who knows? She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. Yeah, okay. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. Well, never seen her much How much. far is Savannah? Very far. Pretty far. Oh, okay. I love you, baby. <laughs> Well, he fell asleep pretty fast. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. Wow! We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. <laughs> Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. No problem. Word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things fence up the better I want to build a fence yeah well I need a good for me whenever I take a water break on the <laughs> tractor cool Duck and I will hop to it 
I can know. keep an eye on your that. little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Duck can die. Hey there, girls. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Going to be ally point. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Uh, okay, he seems like guy. an all right dude. Well, go talk to him. Can I talk to him? Ah, I can. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Uh, do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Yo, Government will start handing out, out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. Uh, we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. So, he showed interest in his family. Alright, well, might as well continue talking to these. In the, in this, in the... Hey. How did you handle getting through the city? And he just drove. We passed. We just passed people. Over some. Just. Just. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> oh, it's um... fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Just put a bullet in his head. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Nope. <sighs> Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? So, why was we like, You two actually look relaxed. Arrested. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Alright, if you're doing first grade, how far into the future does this game go into? I'm stuck on the tree. I'm not used to this camera. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Hmm. How you doing, Duck? No! Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor! <laughs> no! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Alright, hey, Lee. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. I don't know how to cut. Oh, he just does. 
My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Wow, that's amazing. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Kabam! You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Do you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. I bashed a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. You're gonna need plenty more. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Alright, who will have the tractor? Well, actually, there's no point. I'm not used to this camera. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No family. I had a beta fish on my desk at the university. I hope someone remembered to feed him. <laughs> now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yep. Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Yeah. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. Then at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. No! I'll get my gun! Save the kids, so I'm gonna save the kids. <laughs> Hit him again. I got you. No, Get this tractor off of me.
Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. You thought wrong. And now? That kills a bitch. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. So why take the boy? This is as far as we're going. I mean, they stay nice. far enough. They stay with you, okay. Well, that's at least good, but I'm pretty sure they die. So, I mean... Three seasons! Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. No. Fuck! Why? Why would you ask that? We're trapped! Ah! No! 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 I literally forgot his name, but he's in the he's in the he's in the Walking Dead series. We yeah, go ahead. There we go. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Wayne's one of my favorite Worse, characters. They could have let him right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I, I have to pee. I bet you would <laughs> second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. I would too. Then just go. They've got kids, Lily. Wait, Those what? Those kids outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give wait, a flight. No, wait, Fuck. no, I said no. Zone. I don't want to. They took a risk. Yeah. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Yeah, I knew. Holy I knew shit. as soon as I Stop saw that. Bitch, one of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let some over the bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. Your heart, Dad. You uh... need to calm down. We'll get this kid out of here. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? 
never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy. Uh, well, I know Clementine doesn't die. He's covered you point in out muck. The, the, the She'll find the body. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bitten. Not gonna help. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Jesus! Okay. Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. Oh, okay. Okay, pause me real quick. So as I would have said in a minute, the gunshot wouldn't have went off. And have awarded all the zombies. Am I right? Ah. Uh. They're gonna get in. Shut up. That the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Haha. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Retard. Was he the one that bit him? What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Uh, There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. <laughs> Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be I in just, here a while. What if I just shove a nitroglycerin off the solution? You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh, you know your way around town? You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully. You won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. You. What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you. You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good you're shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. 
What if I just want him to die? Well, what did? What I pick up? Is that a brick? Here, I wouldn't find it some stuff to eat. Oh um, well. Thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? Oh. Yeah, she might, I suppose. Yeah, give it to her. I can take care of myself. Okay. No, I don't gotta give him the pills. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <laughs> we can't let move. anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Haley, really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? It's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to yeah. wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They're gone, I don't know. They owned it. I don't know. Well, wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in, and things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Well, I right? didn't know. We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. I don't think Herschel's it would have mattered if I said they owned yeah. the place. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happen. We didn't make a choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Exactly. Console? Try to let it go. Console! Ooh, candy. Nom nom nom. Wait, I thought I had two. Uh, you don't need it. Oh, is that another candy? Ooh. Yeah, let me take them all. Give me all the candy bars. All right, Clem. Here you go. Here's it's a candy not bar. Much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. You took care of Clementine. Ooh, another one. Do I even need these? Have I just collected them? Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Yeah, nobody donated the food bank. Ooh, what's in that? What's in that? I want it. Wait, what's in that? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. What for? Um, what's the radio? All right, turn this on. Yes. Nothing. Okay, then put the radio over. It probably need batteries. There ah. No batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. Yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Oh, yeah, so we're just gonna live by 
eating off uh, energy bars. Alright, there's probably batteries in the pharmacy. It's not damaged. And this place didn't get looted. Who would take money in a who would take money in a zombie populace? There, there's no use for it. Those apples. But you can also just rip things off of a wall, you know, paper. Ooh, what's in here? I want it. I want whatever's in here. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Luckily? Why don't you just take it? Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. All right. Well, I'll be right back. I gotta go check on dinner. Dinner's got dinner will be done in a little bit. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. My pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. 
Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. And his cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. You don't need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? No kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies? My friend Alfred has a peanut allergy. But you cool? I think so. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and... My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. No! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. 
Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. It's the remote to my dad's TV. You killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog.
We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Dead body, oh yeah, probably dead. So how do I heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Huh. huh. Um, do I look around? I hear some zombies out there. Sure. Okay. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Because Agreed. I bet you the keys out there. Hello, zombies. I'm here. Jesus. <laughs> Ah, oh, well. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. Yep. How the fuck? I think no. it might be more than a couple I'm days before get, all this gets sorted out. My video's gonna get demonetized now. Yeah. I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Alright, so there's a key somewhere. Ooh, what's there? I didn't hear them doing Think you can do anything with this? <laughs> yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was yeah. a kid. There's not much to do with it. Shut up. Yeah, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Dad. I know. I know. Look at the one trapped over there. 
Some folks here. Seem like as good a place as any. Oh. Friends? Family? They around? Family. But it doesn't seem like it. There's nothing to do inside. Unless I... Wait. Unless the radio... It's a combination lock. But how do I get the brick? I can't reach that brick. I can't get it. Uh, um, we, should we should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. I... The glass. Those TVs are on. 
And I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Oh, I need to break the TV. Alright, well, let's go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Uh, the radio, I can probably. Oh, wait. Hmm. Not sure on what to do. Okay. I'll still be here. It's all melted now. On the counter? Yeah, I know the radio's on the counter. Talk to Carly. Who's Carly? This girl? How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. That's the wrong one. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Okay, calm down. The food box. I already. Why am I stuck? I already looked at it. There's nothing in it. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's this? Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Alright, did you get. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries no, won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. You don't say. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. You can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> Put this camera. Okay, there's a zombie there, zombie there. Oh, okay, man. this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. <laughs> so we have to kill every one of them in here. 
Quietly, noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Where to next? We can probably make it over to the RV. Or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. So if I break that, it's just a few words. Let's keep walking around. You need to find a weapon. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful.
done trying to punch out window. Oh, dang, it won't even let me. Get out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. They really want to get into that room. without attracting the others. The moment we had to lose that car, he's going to unleash enough noise to totally screw us. I'm done trying to punch out window. We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. We're going to need weapons.
are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Oh, no. Yeah, no, it's that car. It's going to unleash enough noise to totally screw us. There's a pig in the truck. He's not going anywhere. Shoot that guy from here is probably a bad idea, huh? Um, I'm stuck. Oh. Good luck smothering them to death. That's <laughs> not really what I have in mind. Uh, I picked up pillow. I don't know what to do with pillow. Uh, break the window. I don't know. Yeah, break the window? With the pillow? Oh. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I'm done trying to punch out windows. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. 
I don't know what to do with the pillow. Oh, no, God. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Oh. Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. And none with pillows. Gadget, Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Uh, wow! That was sick! They made a silencer! <laughs> Break the window now. All right, let's see those ninja rocks. Ninja what now? You picked up that spark plug to shatter that window, right? What the hell are you talking about? What? Let me see the spark plug. Also, inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. The fuck? <laughs> How does that work? That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Well, I killed that zombie now. I thought it was just gonna be a headshot. Oh, come on!
Where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? But even then, I don't think that's enough to penetrate bone. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? We'll be right behind you. Never did give that guy his, uh, his pills. I hate the camera angle. Hi there. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. He's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. you help it's too late for that guys she's been bitten what I told you I said go away I'm bit but you wouldn't just leave to calm down you could be fine I won't be fine my boyfriend was bitten you get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find you have a boyfriend when I don't want that <laughs> it's not Christian please just leave me please go Okay, nah, we'll nah, leave. Nah, we're not bringing her. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, do I give her the gun or not? Okay. We can't let you do that to yourself. And do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up, please! Whoa! Ah, great. Is she dead yet? Did she snap her neck? Whoa, take it easy. You just want to help. You can't. Miss, 
Just relax now. No, she you don't. need yep. to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. <laughs> She's Thanks gonna be. All just. Oh, no, no! She could have committed toast to that. <laughs> Oh, I have Gwen was disappointed that she had a boyfriend. <laughs> Shit! Here they come! Get in! But I feel like if if I would have given her, it wouldn't have been as loud. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and. Well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. You got keys? Keys? <gasps> Wait, I got an ass. I can just the door. Wait, no, I didn't. No, wait, I can go outside. Here, I found some snacks. I'm cool. Not much of an appetite. <laughs> Maybe save it for one of the kids? I already gave all the kids one. Whee! Zooby zoo! Alright, go outside. How are we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Good. Now that I got an app. Let's have a look around. Okay. I spent way too long Can't on that. Reach that brick. What are you talking about? You got an at handle. Oh hey, I don't want to break that yet. Or do I? No, I don't want to do that. Or do I? <laughs> How can you not reach that? Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. But well, if I break it, it's going to be loud, violations. and all the zombies are going to come over here. Awesome. What? No, that would have been a lot louder. Things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. Oh my god, just open the door. Oh, now can you reach it? Oh, yeah. Alright, so I want to throw the break at that. <laughs> Watch as I miss. Go eat that it. Yeah, yummy. That the yummy. Time. Very good static. Well, I don't want to run. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? I'm gonna get eaten. now man I got to do this I'm 
I had no hesitation for that. <laughs> Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. They're gonna break down the door. They're gonna eat that guy. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. I hate her. She sound... She's... Oh! You're saying I could have just at the door? <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, everybody hates her. <laughs> oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Well, we screwed. Well, it was nice knowing everybody here. Yeah, I'm still streaming. Why wouldn't I be streaming, bro? Can I have that thing that's in your shoulder? So who do I save? <laughs> Obviously it's the girl. Oh, 
I know, I, I know it's not the guy I have to save. It's the girl. Well, I just want to confirm. Wait, but she has a gun now. Probably the right answer. Yeah, I already did. I think I need to go. You don't say. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. That was the right choice, right? Not, not that one guy, Doug, or whatever his name was. Um, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Did 
you check the glove box? You never pay attention when you leave things. Oh, hey, check this out. you just look over there. Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Um, I think you're a little bit behind. Uh, go forward a little bit because I, I'm not even on that. I'm at the motel. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it earlier. You never pay attention the way you leave things. Ooh, water. Can't take the water. Can you just look over water. Everything Aqua. If I left you alone for five How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. Happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. It is. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway... I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? Yeah, I, I know the back of the conversation is just a What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Yeah, the, the kids are having a conversation. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it. Earlier. Did you check the glove box? I swear I thought I saw it somewhere. Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow pow pow. Good for him. I hope he gets super eaten. Super dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's a lot of kids here. Yeah, I know. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. <laughs> I fell, and my walkie-talkie <laughs> broke. Toy, it's called a Glenn Duma had the other one. Might have told you to call it a Duma. It's just a walkie-talkie. Ah! It probably wasn't much use to begin with. It wasn't just a walkie-talkie. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Well, I can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. Can I kill that guy? Like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step out of line once, and so will everyone else. I'm gonna kill him. First I know who I you are. I'm a killer. I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. You might want to watch it because hey, get blue a little time. Do you I think have you a get second? Cranky My dad would be man. dead if it weren't for you. Good. I hope he dies. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. 
We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. Oh, the military I never actually coming. agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. There goes all the power. Next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. You we gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. Sniper. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Can't I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! You've never liked my dad. Even back in the drugstore, we never thought Kenny's kid was fit. You went out of your way to side against him. What's happening? No more, please. No more, please. Please, please. So, should I play episode two? Or should I save that for possibly tomorrow? Alright. Light the hustle. You and 54% of players were honest. Uh, Duck of Shine. You and 52% uh, of players chose Duck. Side with Kenny. A lot of people defended Kenny. Uh, wow. Really? 49% chose Carly? Really? That's actually surprising. Give Irene the gun? Well, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, that's gonna do it for this episode. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button. And for more videos, make sure you hit that sub button. Hit the bell icon. Because I'm going to be streaming this a lot more lately. And I hope you all have a good day. I accidentally hit the record button.